the most spectacular and scenic venue in all of college football and perhaps in all of sports. The Rose Bowl in Pasadena, also home to the UCLA Bruins. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Washington Huskies taking on the UCLA Bruins. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Bruins will kick it away to start. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. The Huskies' offense is on the field for the first time today. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double team him, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball as quick passes. They're going to throw it deep. And they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. You think the fans are ready for this one? The booth's shaking underneath us, guys. Quick talk. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get laddered up. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. To the air, it's Rodgers on the move to his left. He'll pull it down. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. That's a really good-looking throw right there, and that was a tight spiral, too. You guys remember the great Washington Husky quarterback, Warren Moon? I don't think anybody threw a more pretty ball than Warren Moon did. Tightest spiral I've ever seen. That right there reminded me of old number one. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The Huskies look to keep this drive humming. Goes to the option. He'll toss it. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Husky. An impressive run from the back. Gets him six points, good drink of water, and maybe a little oxygen. He definitely needs some oxygen after that long run, but it looks simple, right? Just hand the ball off, but when you can make big plays like this in the run game, man, does it make offense fun. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Catches it inside his 20. Chance to really gain some ground. Nice return there, and he'll be dragged down at the 34. So the UCLA Bruins offense has its first opportunity of the day. 
One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this day because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. Here we go. After the misfire, it's second and ten. Here we go. Set. Dropping back, it's Garbers coming after it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't not free for a fumble. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Going to throw it over the top of the D. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. Three straight misfires has left them staring at fourth and ten, but they'll try it again. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He'll take another shot here. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. They'll run the option. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. And you can tell the QB wants to run. He's going to be a big part of the game plan. And the defense really, really understands that. I got to understand, and more importantly, when I get a lick on this cat, I got to take it. Like, not dirty. And the ball is free on the pitch. Bounced right back to them. Great job by the defense forcing the fumble. Oh, but a bad, unfortunate bounce. And the offense pounces back on Now on the option. Now the pitch. will try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Oh, the spin move. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Washington has a lot of things working, set up with another first down. On the option. The pitch. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll pitch it. And the fourth option there is to throw it in reverse. And that's what happened on that one. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bit of defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. Feelings. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And the defense got it. He's loose down the middle. Inside the 
30. He's at the 10. That's how you do it. Cause the fumble, scoop it up, try to put it in the end zone. How about the big fella getting down the field? He didn't score, but flipped the field completely and now set this offense up in a position to score some points. And the fumble recovery gives the ball to the offense with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He worked his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Now on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, UCLA! A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, it puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. And they did tack on that extra point with no problem. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. We're all square as he's set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Williams. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown table. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. Oh, there's a loose football on the bad pitch. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. Touchdown, Bruin! The defense takes matters into their own hands. Defenses talk all the time about forcing turnovers, and to do that, you gotta get so many hats to the football and swarm when the ball sometimes comes out. And what do you do? You pick it up, take it back to the house. What a play by the D. And he tacks on the extra point. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. Coming out with it, it's Williams. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. Here comes the option. He'll pitch it. Picks up the first down. And they'll finally shove him out of bounds after a strong run. Wow, how about the stop-start speed? That reminds you of Napoleon Kaufman or Bishop Sankey, Miles Gaskin, great Washington Husky running backs of years past that just made defenders look silly because of that stop-start ability. This dude has some games. Surges across the 30, out to the 32, a six-yard run. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. On the option. Now the pitch. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense on the On the option. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. You want to talk about a decision that could blow up in your face, going for it inside your own 40. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? 
UCLA will go back to work on offense. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. Hand off to the single running back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Back to pass, it's Garvers. Looking for the end zone. And that falls incomplete as they tried to wrap up the first quarter with a bang, but the incomplete pass takes us to the second quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and UCLA has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And it makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA! And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy, and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll return it. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. When you go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll run the option. He'll toss it. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Rodgers. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. It's going to be tough on this defense containing this guy because he's got that sixth sense to get outside the pocket. And at that point, he's thrown it and hurting you, or you can take off and run. That time, able to get the first down. Big challenge for the defense moving forward. He's going to run it. Still on his feet at the 45. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. This Washington offense moving quickly down the field. They've been running it, but now the pass. Now he's going to throw back to the middle. He'll fire back across his body, and it's intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that's just excellent cover. That cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. He's still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Here we go. 
good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Wide receiver now comes in motion. But jet sweep pass. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Trying to take it back. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hand and let him do his thing. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. And you're seeing the pass rush on the second play of the drive. They dial it up. Look at the speed and athleticism this defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. Fighting off the defender. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And they're going to try to convert on fourth down, one for two so far today. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. The great defense on that one. They were ready for pass, and they forced the incompletion. They're coming off the field. That's a big win for this defense. Motion from the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to pass on second down. He's got an open man. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. You can become a star making efficient plays and getting first down, sort of like a Mark Harmon kind of way to play quarterback for the Bruins. And, and then you become a big star. And in Hollywood, what a talent to do. And obviously create some excitement, create some momentum, go to a Rose Bowl, just do big things at UCLA. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Makes the grab. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains as a backdrop. Let's it fly deep downfield. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bruin! Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside his own 20. 
And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Greece, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to pass. It's Rodgers. Now adjusting. He'll throw it. He finds his man. And they pick up just a few on that completion. When the defense loses you like that, you have to find a way to make sure the quarterback sees you. Hey, I guess that's waving your arms. Hey, I'm open. I, I never really understood that because I never feel like you're running as fast, but he got by the defense. Quarterback gets outside the pocket, makes the big completion down the field. On third down, going up top. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect them to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. They go to the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They try to go draw, but there's just way too much penetration in the middle of the offensive line, and that the offense has a negative play. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Oh, you know what time it is when the defense gets that stop on third down. Fist up in the air. Nice job getting to the quarterback, putting some pressure on him, hitting him, forcing the incompletion. Fourth down, baby. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Just one for three on fourth down today, but they'll try to move those chains with this play. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. Going to try to get it himself. And that falls incomplete on fourth down, but wait just a second. There is a flag, and this is a big call. You don't see that penalty too often, but we see it here, an illegal forward pass. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and 10 from the 50. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Firing to the right, complete. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Move the chains with that completion. Now on first down. He's going to pass. Under heavy pressure lets it fly. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, you see. That's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like the, the, that receiver streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. And the extra point sails through, and they have a 35 7 lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. One more play before the teams head to the locker room. To the air, it's Rodgers. Escapes the pressure going right. He throws into the middle of the field. Oh, he's playing with fire, and he's picked off. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. And the defender is tackled, and that's how we'll run out the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's got a better seat there in Pasadena than you do? A captivating game so far. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you gotta believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the Rose Bowl. All right, Kevin about ready to start the second half here. Washington ready to kick off to start this second half. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Nice return there, and he'll be dragged down at the 34. UCLA will go back to work on offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Finds a tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Now they'll run it to the right here. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football, you're ahead, you can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the... Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. They were trying to set up a screen. Instead, what they got was their quarterback putting paper and plastic and sack. But how about the speed on defense with that rush, getting to the QB so quickly? You're not expecting to get home on a screenplay like that, but, man, the old saying, speed kills. You saw it right there. Good, solid tackle. And he runs a quick out route. And this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. It's caught downfield. And the defense was right there to make the tackle, but not before they get it to the 12 and set up in the red zone. Just beautiful, and that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make right, that throw. It keeps your right. offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously, not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this, way better than having a touchdown through it. And the route is on. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. And here's the return. And stampeding through the defense. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. 
to the air. It's Rodgers. On the move and looking deep. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. The play action fake. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. And after the big play to start the drive, now two straight incompletions, and they need to find a way on third down. Now the toss. And they just didn't get anybody on that defense out of position, and they will lose yardage on that one. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. On fourth down, trying to find his man. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. Man, that is just a great job on defense there on fourth down, making a play on the ball in the air. Everybody had their eyes on the quarterback, but having great timing, swatting the ball away and doing it cleanly. No P.I. And as a result, that defense has earned a rest. They're coming up the field. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. That's a really good play by the defense, playing deep to shallow. My job is to stay as deep as the deepest, make sure I don't get beat deep. If they throw it underneath, I go make a tackle and rally, but I can't give up those deep shots. Great job by the DB. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. They're working that left side. There to make the tackle, but the big blow is good enough to give them a first down. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator. It's a lot of DCs. They focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they are going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Coaches preach all week about physicality, physicality. That is how you do it. That is how you put it on tape. That's how you show everybody in the locker room, everybody on the field, this is how our defense is going to be. Do not run the football because we will knock you senseless. He's got it. Touchdown, UCLA. And the beatdown has ensued. Have a day, young fellow. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone, it's Williams. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. And those are frustrating, because you, you think you might get points, and then your defense gives up points. And this has got to be a complimentary football-type deal. The offense now needs to provide a little spark and give this defense some hope. No doubt, David. they got to turn the page, and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here, knowing they've got to get that one back and put a good drive together. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. He'll toss it. Bulls his way forward. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. It's a nice run there to get the first down. I got to tell you, I'm impressed with the stable of backs and the weapons this offense has. A lot of different guys can touch the football in a variety of ways, but they've been running it very, very well in this game so far. 
They'll leave it with him. Yeah. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. The option look. Now the toss. Got room at the 35. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Listen, his team's obviously down in this game, but it's not his fault. I mean, this guy showed up to play. He's been churning out big play after big play. Already over 100 yards rushing in this game. He's carrying his weight. He needs his buddies around him now to pick up the slack a little bit and help get this team back in the game. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. He'll pull it down and run. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Quick toss. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Goes to the option. He'll toss it. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They'll run the option. Now the pitch. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. It's a fake. He's looking to pass. And the pass is incomplete off the fake field goal, and sometimes you just outsmart yourself. That's the end of the quarter, and UCLA has the lead. This has been a complete obliteration so far, as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Power football with the run. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carrier? Scanning the field, it's Garbers. Throws to the tight end. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead, they've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up the score. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying play action. He fires a bullet to the right. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. You have a big lead in the fourth quarter. When you do that, the only explanation for it is you're trying to send a message by sticking in another touchdown. Yeah, insane. Listen, it's your job to stop us, and right now we're eating you alive. So I think, you know, there's, there's some psychological warfare, right? There's some... I'm going to get in your head. There's some I want to beat you on recruiting trail and in the future and, you know, kind of take that and a little rub their nose in it. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Oh, he wants it all. Downfield and incomplete the defense holds. This is so a Jesse Paul. Exactly what he would do. Continue to put the foot on the accelerator. Try to rub it in. Can't win by enough. Got to look good in the polls. This is your kind of offense, Palmer. 
Now on the option. The pitch. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Offside. 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 Defense. 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 Good job by the QB there, using his cadence, using his clapping, trying to get this defense offside. Defense a little too eager on that last one, and now it's first and five. On the option. He'll pitch it. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anyway. Second down coming up. Looking for a man. It's Rodgers. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. He caught it. And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. The Huskies want to move quickly. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You're powered in for the touchdown. And show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. And he had the extra point to finish the drive. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for a fourth down. Everybody wants that, but your defense sometimes has to bail out your decision making. We decided to go for it, we didn't get it. Defense, Jesse didn't come up big and prove me right. Yeah, not complimentary football, no doubt. But look, this offense has been in these situations before, so you got to come back out here, take the field. It's a fresh set of downs, brand new drive. Let's go out next week with some points on the board. They've got a first and ten at the 34. They're getting this guy lathered up. Got enough for the first. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Bruin. And the stomping has commenced. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. The offense lining up for a first down play. They'll start this drive with a pass. Quarterback on the move, still looking. He throws one to the left. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. The incompletion brings up a second down. Get set, get set. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He's going to let one go back to the middle. And it's incomplete way downfield, and the defense rises to the occasion. Listen, with the aggressiveness of offenses and taking chances, a lot of times it's going to put your defense in a hole. And this defense is going to have to come through in the clutch right here because you're trailing. They can't get more scores. They got to get a stop on this possession, and the offense is going to have to do better than they just Encroach, did. Encroach, defense. 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 Defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty, five yards for the offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. Wants to throw. It's Garbers. Fires into the end zone. And give him another six. Grabs it for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns in the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. And he takes this from inside the five. And he loses the ball deep in his own end. Kicking team's got it. Well, he tried the lateral there, and I don't know if that was designed or if he was just doing that on the fly, but obviously it was the wrong decision because they fumbled the football and they give it right back to the opponent, and now they're in good field position. And the Bruins trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Got it! That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so it's been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? That would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen. He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. It's incomplete, and the defense makes a stop and gets the football back. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They're backed up, first and 10 from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. Quarterback adapting. Now he'll let one fly down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incomplete. You just can't go backwards. There he did, and they swarmed him for a safety. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. A fair catch is called for. It'll give them great field position. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and to keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. 
That's just a mental error. On defense, you got to watch the ball. I understand the quarterback shouting and he's clapping and there's all this crowd noise, but you just got to hone in, watch the football before you come out of your stance. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Let's see what they do on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the team. You easily pick that up. The Bruins have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Fires toward the end zone. Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. And how about this offense? They're, they're not worried about the clock. They're not worried about the score. They're not worried about early and down. Still trying to execute their offense. Still trying to make big plays. And they've had a great day so far. And that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today. But like, let's finish this game strong. I think that'll be the message from the defensive coordinator. Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the field? I know a lot's went wrong, but like... He'll take a shot. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. And the offense comes up offense. short on third down. But I tell you what, they've still had a good day. There, there's so many positives to point to. I'll be interested to see if they go for it here on fourth down. They don't have to. They got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, shown a variety of all kinds of things. Now it's just about how they want to finish. No good. And they missed a field goal, so something has gone wrong today. 65, Washington. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Well, this has pretty much been an evisceration, an old-fashioned stomping, Jesse. Yeah, and, and listen, this is one of those games where you're not necessarily throwing the playbook in the trash after this one, but I do think this coaching staff, David, really has to be honest with themselves and rethink what schemes are working and not working and which guys maybe need to get more touches in this offense. Well, I think I like the trash option as well because it's been hot trash. This has been a bad day. Offense, defense, giving up a ton of points, not scoring near enough. So it's been a bad day you're going to want to forget. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. They're just treating the entire stadium as if it's four-down territory. Odd decision here to go for it, fourth and very, very long. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Final minute, this game's on ice. They can take a knee and run out the clock. This offense has to feel great with how they're able to go out, execute, and perform big plays all game long. I think it's sending a statement, too, to future defenses down the road on the schedule. They're going to be tough to contend with. Yeah, I mean, they got firepower, putting up so many points. This thing is easily over. Now they can just chillax, go back to the locker room, know they're going to get the victory. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board. because this wasn't a great day. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better. They go out. They take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team 
is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your uni. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.